Hey, this is Ian with Camp Nerd, and I want to welcome you all back to another tutorial that we're going to be doing, and this is going to be the last one we're going to be doing in the cards section. We're going to be moving on to something else. But before I get into it, I just want to let all the new viewers that are watching this, if you would like to join the Camp Nerd family, then hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and turn on the notifications so you can see some pretty cool things uh, that comes on this channel, such as tutorials and things like that, as they come out, you'll be the first to know when their new videos and tutorials are out. Also, the ones that are in the Camp Nerd family, you know what to do. Hit that like button and leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know how you like it give me some feedback and also everybody read the description because there may be some things that you don't know about that you, you might would like to such as the merchandise that we are fixing to put out this monday it's going to be about 30 different items anywhere from backpacks to hoodies to iphone cases samsung cases things like that so you can get your keep it nerdy merchandise as well and also to get into this tutorial, we are going to be doing the battery status and percent. And if you would like to see a more in-depth battery app on how to get a lot of different things, leave a comment in the comment section below. And this is what we are going to be creating today. And which is the icon, you can have it to where it'll change like that. Uh, it just kind of depends on... Uh, if you want to see that, if you want to see the changing icon, leave a comment in the comment section below. But we're going to be right here at 47%. And can you believe it? My laptop is actually unplugged from the power source. So that way we can do this tutorial. But once it's done, it's getting plugged right back up. And so this is what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to use the same thing so I don't have to keep re-adding uh, everything. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take and delete this and delete that delete that and delete that and then come over here and we're just going to delete all that and now you should be at the very beginning as if you would start the WPF project now if you are not familiar with material uh, theme designs then you can also see the tutorial I did uh, look for it. It is called the Material Design Theme and WPF in C Sharp. And so to get this started, we are going to do a card. So we have to call the Material Design card like so. And uh, we need to put some values in this so that way we know exactly what we have so we're going to do a vertical alignment of center and depending on what your project is uh, you may do the vertical and horizontal differently uh, but I'm just doing it like this so that way it's just easier and then we also have to call the material design uh, shadow assist and then this is going to be the shadow depth and then we're going to put it on the sixth option which is depth five all right now since we have that there we're just going to bring this over like that so we can have a little bit more room there so we need to add a stack panel and then within the stack panel we need to do an orientation of horizontal and a margarine of you guessed it 16 uh, I have I've had a few people uh, that's on a different platform ask me why do you always do 16 and 64 so well it's an easy number to keep up with so now since we have that we want to do our icon so we're going to do uh, you can put in material design pack icon or you can just uh, type the pack icon like so and it'll automatically put it in there for you then you need to do a kind and then you see the battery there's gonna be a tons of different batteries that you can go through and I'm just gonna to go to the battery charging 50% and uh, we're gonna do a height of 
Let me see if you can guess it. All right, everybody, what number am I gonna pick? Let's see who's paying attention. 64, that is correct. And then we're gonna do a width of 64, and then we're gonna close that off like so. So now you see that the icon has popped up into the cart. Now we need to add a text block and we are going to add a few things in this such as the vertical alignment is going to be center the horizontal alignment is going to be center and it's going to be the text wrapping and I've actually had one or two people ask me, how do I remember all this? And I tell them, well, when you do this on a day-to-day -day basis and you do this for a living, it just comes secondhand nature and you'll know exactly what to uh, put on there. So we're going to do a font size of 16. And I think that is everything. Uh, okay, we need to put a margin right here. So margarine of 16, like so. All right, so now on this text block right here, you can name it whatever you want. I am just going to name it as uh, LBL percent, kind of for a label, because that's pretty much what it's gonna be used for in this scenario. All right, so now once we have that, we can just save it and we can actually get to the coding and wiring. <clears throat> so we need to build the timer event so what we are going to do is we are going to add in this we are going to add the uh, using system dot and this it's going to be threading so uh, be sure to put the using system dot windows dot threading as so and then here we are going to put system dot windows dot threading dot dispatcher uh Yes, I'm getting the kids off the bus today, which is in like an hour and a half, but I'm in the middle of a tutorial, so Bridget, I will get back with you here shortly. Okay, now, back to the tutorial. You gotta love when you're trying to do these things. Everybody just wants to get a contact with you and everything, so uh, this is going to be dispatcher timer, and then it's gonna be labeled as timer equals new, dispatch timer like so and then we're going to come down here under the initialize component and under the initialize component we need to uh, declare a few things as far as the uh, timer tick event handlers and things like that so it's going to be timer tick equals nope plus equals new event handler and then we're going to define it ourselves and it's going to be timer tick we'll close that off with the uh, semicolon then we're going to do timer dot interval and then this is going to equal new time span of zero 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 one and then we're going to come back and we are going to timer dot start like so okay now we are halfway into getting this set up and uh we got to do one more so we fix that little thing so we need to take this and we need to generate the method like so and then in this timer tick we're going to leave it blank just for the moment so above that timer tick we are going to start a private void private 
void and then this is going to be get battery percents okay and before we go any further on that what you need to do is you need to come over to your solution explorer and you need to right click on references and add a reference and then you are going to come down to the uh, system.management I already done have it added so just check the system.management and click OK and then it'll be added and then you will be able to do this next part which is the system dot management dot management class and then we're going to define that as WMI equals new system dot management dot management class and then you're gonna do your parentheses then quotation marks then in the quotation marks you're gonna do win 32 uh, hang on a second it feels like I'm gonna sneeze uh, okay and then it's gonna be battery like so uh, Man, I don't know what it is. The sneeze just does not want to go away. Uh, so, all right. Now, since we have that, let me get rid of this right here. Wasn't supposed to do that. We're supposed to do that. So here we're going to do a variation. So var all batteries. And then it is going to equal WMI dot get instances like so. And you're gonna close that off and then you're gonna do a for each and it is going to be var battery in all batteries then you're gonna come down and this is where you're going to define the actual percentage of it so you need to do int estimated charge remaining equals and you got to convert that to uh, int 32 to int 32 and then you're going to put your uh, parentheses and then you're going to put battery and then your regular brackets and then uh, quotation marks then estimated charge remaining like so and then you're going to come out here and you're going to close that off now where we referenced the uh, text block right here as the LBL percent you're just going to come over here and you're going to do LBL percent dot text equals and then it's going to be estimated charge remaining dot two string and then we are just going to add uh, our little uh, space like that right there and then we're going to put in the percents then we're going to put another plus and then do another one, then another plus, and then your uh, remaining, like so, and then come out. We're going to close that off. So, <clears throat> now we have just about everything done. The last thing that we need to do is in the timer tick, we need to call the method we created for this. So, in the timer tick, we're just going to call the get battery percents like that and we're going to close it off. So now we're going to start it. Hopefully there is no errors. There's not because I am good like that. All right. And this right here is the uh, how you get the percent and the remaining is if you notice right here, it says 40%. And then down here it's 42 percent it may be a percent or so off but you've got that uh to almost 
almost to the same as what it is in the system and which is my computer has been acting up so it may be correct with this right here and this may be off so we'll just kind of have to get everything situated from there if you want to get it dead on spot so uh as like i said this is a tutorial how to do that if you'd like to see a more in-depth battery app leave some comments in the comment section below and if we can get 200 likes on this tutorial i will go in and show you how to get every single thing on this battery app to where you have like the design voltage capacity uh everything the whole nine yards and if you would like to see more on using the wmi uh the windows management and the windows management instrumentation leave comments below in what you would like to see and i will do it whether it's in WinForms or wpf i can do both and so uh, if you like tutorial hit the like button all the new viewers if you haven't joined the camp nerd family yet hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications and also uh, remember Monday uh, the new merchandise will be coming out and I will have uh, that completed this week and it'll be up and ready to go on Monday so as always this is Ian here in the camp and I will see y'all guys in the next tutorial and remember Keep it nerdy.